One of the first thing you need to do is seek medical care. It's important to seek medical care to one, figure out what your injuries are, are they life-threatening, and what needs to be done. The second thing you need to do is contact law enforcement. You need to contact law enforcement and make sure that they document what happened and who's at fault. Number three, you should consult with an attorney as soon as possible. It doesn't need to be our office, but you should consult with an attorney and ask them what you need to do to preserve evidence and what you need to do to preserve your claim. The fourth thing you need to do is put the insurance company for the at-fault person on notice. You can do that yourself or if you have a lawyer, they will do it for you. The fifth thing you need to do, assuming that you're done treating or you've completely healed, is you need to send over your medical bills and your medical records to the insurance company. Often if you have an attorney, they will do this for you. We call this a demand. The sixth thing you need to do is you're going to start negotiating your claim with the insurance company. Now, if the insurance company has not reached back to you after you sent the demand, you or your attorney will follow up. The seventh thing is if you have not reached a compromise or a settlement or an agreement with the insurance company after negotiating your demand, you're going to file a lawsuit. Usually, you need to have an attorney to help you do this. The eighth thing is after filing a lawsuit, you're going to enter into the discovery process. That's where your attorney sends out discovery requests asking questions, asking for records, uh, and the attorney for the insurance company does the same thing. The ninth step is, after discovery, generally the parties will go to a mediation. The mediation is where a third party, a neutral party, tries to help both parties come together and, and reach a compromise. The tenth and final step, if there has been no compromise or settlement reached at mediation, then you'll be headed to a trial. The best thing you can do is reach out to a law office like our office and ask for a free consultation to see how those specific 10 steps relate to your case.